everyone. Today I'm here to share with you my favorite chiclet books. So what is chiclet? Chiclet technically if you like look it up on Google it is literature designed for women which I think is kind of just I don't know why maybe do we have men's lit you know any books meant for anybody so it's just the name so that's why the title is chiclet because that is the name um and pretty much chiclet i think it's to each person individually i see chiclet as just kind of fun light books now some people see chiclet as really heavy intense books that follow a woman's period of life and things like that it's honestly any person's interpretation in my opinion you may disagree with me i don't know but chiclet to me are just kind of light fluffy like books kind of either funny or romancy whatever you have it so i have about 10 books to share with you today that are my favorite chiclet books i don't want to say woman's fiction because i don't know why we call it woman's fiction or even chiclet for that matter let's coin a new phrase let's just call it light fluffy books i don't know <laughs> if you've been on my channel a while you know that my favorite chiclet author is sophie kinsella i've read pretty much all of her books i think her books honestly are kind of the quintessential chiclets there's nothing too in depth in any of them it's mostly about a woman, I know, a woman's fiction, um, discovering herself, romance, things like that. They're usually very, very funny. I like the way she writes. Um, she's a British author. Most of the time her books are set in Great Britain, which I love. Um, the two I want to recommend to you are my two favorites by her. My number one favorite is I've Got Your Number. This, I think, is one of her most funniest ones. It's still my favorite of hers by date. This follows a character named Poppy who is engaged, and she pretty much loses her um, engagement ring, and she, somehow through the whirlwind of that, she gets a cell phone and starts talking to this guy named Sam and she becomes like his assistant for a little bit and things are happening she's questioned if she's engaged to the right man and thus forth and I thought this was so adorable I say with Sophie Kinsella time and time again I will continue to say it to listen to her books rather than to physically read them because the narrators are always amazing you will laugh in your car wherever you listen to it the audiobooks are just phenomenal and are just guaranteed a fun time which I think is what Sophie Kinsella's books are all about so I love I've got your number and it's funny, it's romantic, it ticks off all the boxes for me for a great chiclet, so I really love it. My other favorite of hers is her release that she released last year, and that is My Not So Perfect Life. This one is still just as funny. Again, I listened to this one. This is about a woman named Katie who is not doing well in her life. She's at a job that she really wants to advance in, but there, she's not seeing a lot of leeway for that. She's um, in a flat where she can't really afford, and so basic. And so she loses her job and she moves to her and she moves in with her dad once again because he is starting a glamping business that's right a glamping business and she decides to help market it and help to run it and she really flourishes from there this one does not have as much romance as I've got your number but it's more about self-discovery and about being in your late 20s and still trying to figure out who the crap you are because it's hard you know when you it's all about you know being in your late 20s and still finding out who you are and what you want to do with life and I think that's great it does have a little bit of romance in it but not as much but I still really enjoyed it these are my two favorite by Sophie Gonzalez you can't go wrong with her book if you're looking for something funny and for something to cheer you up, books are go-to for that matter. And again, and again, listen to them. Phenomenal audiobooks. Another author I really enjoy that's Chiclet, honestly would classify these as romance if you want to be real super technical, is Christina Lauren. Christina Lauren writes a lot of steamier type of romance books, so just so you're fully aware. I wouldn't say they're like 100% steamy, but there's a good amount in there. Three of her books, I have read Roomies, I have read Love in Other Words, and I have read Dating You and Hating You. I would recommend to you these two right here. These are her two recent releases. Both of these came out this year, so wow, those authors line. Um, this one is all about a woman named Holland who meets this musician and basically they just get married through a whirlwind of things for her for him to stay in the country because he is an illegal immigrant and it kind of discovers their relationship you know they're married but they really don't know each other but they're still kind of falling in love it's an adorable one steamy one definitely would recommend and our most recent release that i actually just finished is love in other words sorry this is so beat up my kid has like poured water all on it it's been through the ringer but I have to say this is my favorite book by her thus far i really really enjoyed it this book is told in present and in past time we follow a character named macy who is very much in love with this boy named elliot she meets him when she's 14 and they become best friends and they become more and through the course of this through the beginning of this book you have learned that 
they're not together anymore and something has happened so it's got like a mystery aspect as well because you're like what the crap happened to this couple the present time she meets this guy again and it sparks up her feelings and they start talking again and she starts to feel things once again so I really enjoyed this book this was so swoon worthy this was so steamy I really love the romance and the relationship of this book definitely recommend this book if you're very wary about her books I really really enjoy this one I was surprised at how much I loved it definitely my favorite by her Oh, so so adorable. Speaking of romantic books, I have The Hating Gay by Sally Thorne. I'm sure you guys have heard about this. This exploded on booktube last year with good reason. This is an adult romance novel, chiclet, whatever genre it is, is it is what it is. Um, and this one we follow a character named Lucy and she is an executive assistant to a CEO of a publishing company and their publishing company is kind of going down under. She merged with another publishing company and she meets a guy named Josh and they are pretty much enemies because they're both assistants to each CEO and and they learn that the jobs can become only to one executive assistant so vying for the same job so it becomes the hating game and of course things happen from there a classic hate the love trope which I admit I am guilty of loving so so much but either way again another steamy and really adorable romantic one definitely recommend I know it's been getting a lot of hype either people love it or they hate it I fall in the camp of really really loving it also, I want to talk about the hating game by Jasmine Guarini I pronounced that wrong. I apologize. This is another recent release. I read this one in February. This is pretty much the title. A wedding date. So this and drew me on the elevator and through a whirlwind of you know events. They go to this wedding together and they forge a relationship and it's really hard on them because they both live in different parts of California so they have to travel a lot to meet one another and it's just basically a relationship. You're seeing it start and progress and things like that. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't one of my favorite um, chick lit reads ever but I still found it adorable and funny and romantic which I think is a perfect chick lit book in my opinion so I did really enjoy this. It has great diversity in it as well which I would recommend and I just thought it was adorable. Next up I have a series for you that's right a series. I have the London Belongs to Me by Jacqueline Middleton series so I have London Belongs to Me and then I have London Can You Wait both like I said by Jacqueline Middleton. <laughs> this is I would say the first book's kind of new adulty and then the second one's definitely adult but I would just classify them both honestly as adult books. I would also kind of put them in the perspective of maybe kind of contemporary not so much chiclet but I still kind of see them as chiclet. This is about a girl named Alex who moves from Florida to London to become a playwright and from there she meets a whole new set of friends, she meets a guy, and it just kind of follows um, her journey from there. The second book, obviously if you can tell, there's a relationship happening. I can tell you who, but basically it's about a relationship coming together and kind of falling apart and what you do in the aftermath. Maybe they get back together, maybe they don't, read to find out, but I found this really adorable. I will say they're quite lengthy a little bit, but I still think you can fly through them. I also really love that it was set in London, so you got to see a lot of London sights and things like that. They're both equally adorable. I definitely, I think I might like the second one a little bit more because it really focused on the relationship, and I'm all about reading those, so would definitely recommend. For all my medical drama lovers out there, I want to recommend to you The Queen of Hearts by Kimberly Martin. I recently read this and I keep saying about this book, if you like Grey's Anatomy, I think you would really enjoy this book. I don't know if I would call it 100% chiclet. It's a little bit more serious, but I still think it's chiclet-y. If that makes sense, I don't know. We follow two characters in this book, Emma and Zadie, and they meet when they're really young at med, like med camp, I don't know. It was also told in present and past time as well. Present, they are both married with kids and they're both doctors and they really enjoy their job. Past part of it, they show like them being second or third year um, residents. They're rotating between different parts of the hospital. Like I think the beginning, they start with the trauma rotation, then they go to, you know, pediatrics rotation, like Grey's Anatomy. I only know this because of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I don't watch Grey's Anatomy anymore but either way um in this in the past something happened and then there was a guy involved and in the future this guy has re-emerged to shake things up quite literally and things happen from there so it's kind of sounds chiclety to me in my opinion but i really enjoyed it i rather i want to recommend it because i think if you're a fan of Grey's anatomy if you're a fan of er if you're a fan of any insert medical drama here i think you'd really enjoy this because it does talk a lot about them doing the rotations and things like that which i felt like i was reading about meredith and 
Derek or something all together, which I really enjoyed. So the yeah. last two books are probably the least talked about books um, on booktube in this whole video, I would say. And the first one of that is Close Enough to Touch by Colleen Oakley. I read this last year, fell in love, nobody else has read it, I feel like. I feel like on Goodreads, a good amount of people have read it, but on booktube, not so much and I don't know why because it was such a gem of a book. This book is about a woman named Jubilee who has a rare condition. She is allergic to like people like if she touches somebody skin to skin she gets hives that could kill her and it's really really scary so she has pretty much just cut herself off from the world only lives inside and just kind of just survives that way and her mother dies and so she has to find a job and like venture outside of the house which is really scary for her so she gets the job at the library. I know are you swooning quite yet you probably should swoon um, and she meets a guy that has an adopted son and, I, and it's just oh so adorable I really enjoyed it I mean look at the end pages bicycles for goodness sake what more could you ask for but it's just a really warm self-discovery type of book which I really really enjoyed so no one's talking about this book read it I really loved it. And the last book I'm going to talk to you guys about I think is probably the most least chiclety book but I guess we're calling it women's fiction it would be in that class it would be in that category and that is Young Jane Young by Gabrielle Zevin. I read this book earlier this year and fell in love and again nobody's talking about it. Why? It is so so good. This we follow a character named Avia and she is an intern for a congressman and she gets involved with the congressman and he's married and the affair comes to light and obviously Avia takes the blame. So she decides to move to Maine to change her name and just start a life for herself and she also has a daughter named Ruby and this book tells this book is split up in like five different parts. So we follow Avia's mom for a little bit when she discovers about the affair and how she's coping with that now. We follow Avia, we follow Ruby and her um, segments all told on emails and also following the congressman's wife. So we have a lot of different um, perspectives to follow in this book, but still, even though it's talking about such a serious matter, such as an affair and a, you know, a publicly, you know, like political affair. It's still very light and refreshing and will make you smile and laugh. I love the way it was written and the way it was told so I put it in here because I thought it's still kind of a great chick lit book. I don't know you may disagree you may not. But either way I loved it. Again no one's talking about it. Read it please. So there you have some of my favorite chick lit reads. I'm sure as time goes on I will add more and more to this collection because it is a genre I really really adore even though I hate that it's called chick lit or women's fiction. <laughs> Let's change the name of that, shall we? If you have any of your favorite chiclets or women's fiction, whatever, please leave them down in the comments below. I am always looking for new recommendations. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.